Hey, this is Nick with AI at UCF, and we have a question from our friend in Ecuador, and uh, he was asking, how do we hook up our Dialogflow chatbot to our Python web application? So um, I figure I'll walk you through the process right now. So on my left pane, I have a simple Dialogflow bot I've been working on. And um, on my right pane, I have um, my little Raspberry Pi that's going to be running my Python web app today. So um, I already have the app made up, and I can link you to some source code below. Um, and we're not going to be diving into that too much today, and um, we have another video on that as well. So if you're interested in how to get the web app to work, um, I would definitely recommend checking out that other video. Um, but we'll just be linking up our um, application to our bot. Um, the main thing we want to take a look at is um, this function. I just called it, um, or this endpoint rather, I called it webhook. Um, and essentially this is the function or that the endpoint that we're going to be telling our dialog flow bot to uh, make requests to. So it's going to be making post requests to this endpoint. And then we do a bunch of processing and um, uh, then we need to transform that into a JSON format um, and uh, formulate uh, response for our Google Assistant and um, that's kind of on you to figure out what your bot is going to say and how it's going to process the request. Um, all we're going to be covering today is how to link it up um, to Dialogflow. So um, down here we're going to be running our app on port 5000 so let me exit out of this and let's just uh, spin it up. And you'll see it's running on localhost um, port 5000. Um, but that's like on my little Raspberry Pi um, that's sitting under my desk right now. How are we going to access that um, from the internet? And the solution to that is this little program called ngrok or ngrook. Um, it's really handy. What it does is it is able to forward your localhost um, port. So this address, um, it's able to make it accessible on the internet um, through a different URL. So uh, definitely go to uh, ngrok.com, follow the installation steps, um, I'll do all this authentication, uh, don't copy my private key, um, and uh, go ahead and we're going to be running basically this command down below. Um, ngrok http 5000 and cool and we're we've gotten this new url um, make sure you copy the https version not the http version and that url will be forwarding to this address um, so we're going to go on dialog flow go to fulfillment and then we're going to um, since it's not at um, the root endpoint, it's at um, a specific endpoint that we went over called webhook. I'm just going to type that in, webhook, and go ahead and save that. So at this point, our webhook is all set up. Um, we have the URL in our fulfillment. Um, go ahead and save that. And we have our application running. So now I'm able to ask it a question uh, through voice and it should be able to answer. So let's go for it. What is a banana? And uh, now we see up here, it's telling me that a banana is a measurement of length. Um, and it became common in the early 21st century. <laughs> um, this is something from Urban Dictionary. <laughs> uh, so it's not particularly accurate, um, but uh, you see that um, our dialog flow made a post request 
to our Google Assistant and um, everything at this point is all set up to go.